from the Trumpet Brain YouTube channel. In this first trumpet tip video, I'm going to share with you three concepts that have really helped me to develop my high register. Before I go on, it's important to stress that everyone is individual and plays slightly differently. So take all advice in moderation and over time, form your own opinions on what you think the best way to play is. I was fortunate to spend a number of years studying with Paul Mays. So a great deal of my trumpet philosophy was developed and inspired by ideas that he gave me. I've included links to his YouTube channels below. The three concepts I would like to talk about today are relaxation, resonance and regulation. They are ideas that I work with every day and I like them because they can stand alone but also share a number of common themes. When I say relaxation, I'm talking specifically about relaxation of the lip. As trumpet players, we commonly hear that we must build strong muscles in our face in order to be able to hold the lips together. Personally, I see high notes in a very different way, as a very delicate, and very fast vibration. The more relaxed we can keep the lips, the easier it is for us to make them vibrate or oscillate at a high frequency or high pitch. This is a concept that requires personal experimentation and should only be applied in moderation. Clearly, we must have a low level of tension and support in our face, otherwise we'll simply blow the lips apart. However, for most of us, I think that level of tension is far lower than we would expect. Here is a short clip where I play into the high register. Pay close attention to the state of the top lip as I ascend. Also watch as I remove the mouthpiece at the end of the exercise. You may notice some white marks from mouthpiece pressure but hopefully you'll see that the lip remains relaxed and in a natural position. If you have any opinions on this clip or disagree with my observations, please do comment below. It's always good to discuss these things. My second concept is resonance. We often hear it said that the trumpet is an amplifier and will simply amplify any pitch that we put in. But this isn't strictly true. The trumpet is a resonating system in its own right. You can hear how on the G the sound is rich and open, but when I bend out of that resonating centre the notes become closed and forced. Hopefully this proves that you can't simply play any pitch on the trumpet with a resonant sound quality. Clearly, the most efficient way to play a note is right in the resonant centre, and that applies for the whole range of the instrument. It's sometimes easy to think of the high register as requiring a huge amount of effort and force, but if you can manage to play in the resonant centre even when we're right up in the high register, it makes our lives so much easier. The way I practice this is by playing a sustained note and allowing myself to sit on the pitch. I'm not consciously changing anything, but I am allowing my body and my lip to react and lock into the resonant frequency that the instrument is creating. This clip demonstrates that approach. I pick a note, in this case a high C sharp or a concert B, and produce it in the most relaxed way possible without using the tongue. You can hear as I sustain the note, the sound actually settles and becomes slightly lower in pitch, but also more resonant and rich, as well as easier. This does require practice and the results can take weeks or months to show. It's important to remember that we're training our body to use less force and be more responsive to the instrument. This is a long term process and something that I've been working at for years and I'm sure will continue to work at for years to come.
The final concept is regulation. Now this concept is simply about ensuring that we only change the variables that need to change and nothing else. Don't get me wrong, some parts of our physiology have to change in order to change pitch. But there are a lot of elements that can actually remain the same. Often we see players raise their eyebrows when they ascend or tilt their neck, or change their arm or hand positions. However, I think it is important to spend some time working out whether all our movements are strictly necessary to achieve the desired outcome. Hopefully, these two clips show what I mean. You may notice a bit of adjustment around the lips as I change pitch, but hopefully you can see that many other elements, such as my chest, neck, and eyebrows, remain the same for the whole of the exercise. I hope this video can be of some help. If you have any comments or opinions, please do leave them below or on the Trumpet Brain Facebook page. Thanks very much.